All right, gang. I know uh, I put it out there to see which one we was going to go with first, either the ribbon burner or the uh, atmospheric, what, what the hell they call that damn Venturi style with the propane, natural gas or propane. And uh, I should have clarified which one we're going to fire up first. Probably fire up the propane first, but seeing how it takes so much longer to build the other one, we're going to start acquiring parts for it. And uh, in case any of you guys or girls want to follow along on the build, you know, maybe you want to build you one. Making a little bit of progress. <clears throat> Ours is going to be, uh, we've watched a few videos and they're like, Everybody says, you know, about 10 inches long, three inch square tubing, and uh, two inch air dump into it. So that's that's what we went with, is three inch square tubing. And uh, what we've got is this. Um, I took a piece of three inch square tubing, capped the ends off, welded around it. I cleaned them up a little bit. Took a two, uh, two inch piece of pipe, thread it, plain in, well around, I didn't clean the spider off. But anyway, and then inside, it says you gotta have something like a diffuser. And the only thing I could find without having to drill a bunch of holes is this perforated sheet, it's like 11 gauge or something. And uh, it's directly behind my, my hole. I put a few flat washers in there so everything wouldn't go right out there. It would kind of kick it off to the side. Just a test run. I believe it'll work. And uh, I broke it at like a over the edge of the table. With a, I don't know. There are a couple 15 degree angles or something in there. I don't know. It's not that big of a deal. I think it's going to mix just fine. But this is your, your last mixing box. And uh, all we're going to do is uh, we got a port of refractory in there. All right. So uh, ours is going to be pretty easy. We're going to have uh, that mixer box. And then it's going to have the refractory on there. And uh, that next up, it's going to go to a 90. And then... Uh, over again with a little close nipple and then down with another 90. I can't draw today. And then close nipple. Well, no, not close nipple. It's going to have a pretty good long piece of pipe right here. About 10, 12 inches worth of pipe. And then it's going into a T here. And then on down here, uh, run another 90 and run our fan, or we may just straight inject it in the bottom. It's, it's all gonna be relevant on our Ford body. And uh, then over here, all the videos I've seen, I'm just copying everybody else, guys, girls. It's, it's a damn burner. Uh, we're gonna bush this down and probably put quarter inch pipe. I don't know. Um, Anyway, they got a little deal that you got to get it up inside here. You get the meat of the deal, and then we're going to let the uh, little bit of gas go in there, and then the blower, the blower forces air through and runs in, and then you get jets of fire inside your, your box. Um, over here, this is going to be a quick disconnect, uh, possibly a big, a big gate valve ball valve gonna run something like this with a ball valve and then have a little fine-tuned needle deal there um, I'm going off of memory there may be a gauge in there somewhere I, I don't I don't know yet uh, quick disconnect here and then I'm just gonna run a flex line over and a quick disconnect on my house and uh, plug it in when I need to use it and unplug it when I'm done with it that day so uh, Getting that portion is pretty simple. Uh, a little piping, a little bit of welding, fitting, 
get that done. I got to look and, and get a shopping list on all these little pieces that go in there. And as I get them, I'll come across with it. Right now, our body of our forge is going to be 10 inch quarter wall square tubing. Um, I know everybody says it needs to be round and well, good. Yours is round. Mine's going to be square. So, uh, we're going to do it like that 10 inch square tubing. I got some fire brick in there. Not in there yet, but I got some fire brick to go in there. I got some, uh, I don't know if it's legitimate KO wool or if it's just ceramic insulation blanket, but I already have a good uh, amount of that to go in. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do the uh, cast of light coating on my ceramic or not. Um, I got to figure out, I got to get all that, all the bugs worked out of that. I don't want to keep hitting at it and hitting at it. I want to knock a home run first time and uh, so we can start, you know, making some metal to forge. Just get one, you know. Uh, so anyway, we're working on a ribbon burner forge first, but it's probably not going to be the first one to get fired up. Um, basically go get me some parts list together and I'll get back with you guys and girls later. So just letting you know where we're at, keep you up to date. Hey, we are trying to turn out some comment. Uh, we are trying to turn out some content for you guys and, uh, I appreciate your patience. But like I said, we got a burner housing box built so far and uh we're gonna go from there like share subscribe comment this is mode damn tire creek iron works out